Welcome, this is Zangler, the Tesla Semi Advocate, and this is the Semi Factory Construction Update for 9-21-2024, a Friday afternoon, about four o'clock. And um, we're starting out with an overview of the entire site. And uh, at the beginning, you could see the Giga Nevada Legacy Factory in the background. This is where all the uh, metal work has been done. And this is like one view. Again, you can see the factory in the background. Right here, I want to show you that there is a grade. There is a, a pitch to this roof. I'm confident of this is the pitch runs from um, the middle of the uh, west end down to the north end. And likewise, as we see it built, it'll, it'll have a pitch along that same western edge to the south. Here is a... Um, telehandler, branded, BZI branded telehandler, installing a truss. And I thought it was pretty interesting to watch. It is sped up at 200% speed. And um, later on, we'll also see uh, an amazing placement of a column in an extremely quick and uh, efficient manner. Again, this is 200% speed twice as fast as actual but it's, otherwise the video would have been too long This is the shot where they're using a um, BZI telehandler to install a column. And they're, they, this explains why they're able to make such quick progress on this project. Again, 200% speed. I'll let you watch as the uh, two-man operation, one man on the telehandler, one man manhandling the uh, column, and he uses a pry bar to put it in place. and. Uh, Pretty interesting. I'd be very interested to know the fastening technique because it, he, it happens awfully quick and then you'll see that he, uh, he lowers the uh, telehandler and the man on the ground removes the uh, chain or strap that they're using to lift it. All of it happens in a, in a short period of time. Here it comes down. You'll see the uh, man on the ground un unfastens the uh, attachment and then the telehandler moves away and the column is installed. I happened to catch this Model Y. I didn't notice it at first but uh, there's a Model Y on the on the site and um, and what you see there is the, the yellow DPM damp proof membrane that they lay down before um, pouring concrete. So the whole western edge will have the um, apron poured and um, that will allow them to continue with the steel work. And uh, one thing about this project is it is a concrete jungle. What I understand is that there's lar these, the larger footings take 55 yards of concrete. In all it'll take 20,000 yards of concrete for the footings alone. And you'll see why later, because there is a jumbo, there's some jumbo footings. 
the entire project will use one million yards of concrete when it's all said and done. The, uh, the footprint of the building is a quarter mile by a quarter mile and it'll have an eight inch slab over the, over the footings. And uh, you'll see that they put up the roof and you've seen, if you've been following along, they put up the roof um, before they pour the slab. So they do the footings, then all the steel work, put up the building, um, and then they'll pour the um, slab. But uh, here is a, here's an explanation of why so much concrete is gonna be used most of the footings have been dug. I wouldn't say all, definitely not all, but um, you're about to see the mother of all footings. At least, you know, I am not a concrete a construction expert, but um, look at this. That is some massive footing. And uh, I have always said that I don't see a Giga Press involved in the Tesla Semi, but um, I could easily be wrong on that. Here's a look at all of the footings that have already been poured and some to be completed. The steel work that's up. I've not mentioned this before, but based on the rendering, I think this section of the building is perhaps battery um, related, either battery uh, production or um, battery pack assembly um, using, using existing pre-built cells, possibly from over on the main factory or from other producers. We're going to take a nice flight along the uh, southern border of the project, heading towards Gigafactory Nevada proper. And look at this uh, pad they've been working on. And uh, it looks like they're finishing it. And some people have speculated that it's just for, and it could very well be for construction um, buildings when they uh, even 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 connexes or shipping container type buildings portable buildings for for building for for when the building gets uh, this I have no idea why I was tongue-tied there but anyway support buildings for when the assembly um, uh, line is actually built and the rest of the building is is fitted out. This is the uh, far eastern edge of the building. They've got a bunch of metal placed over here for this section. And um, as time goes on, we'll see that the footprint of the steel assembly expand rapidly. Another look at those at, at, a couple, at a one giant footing and then two large footings with the wings on them for extra stability. Something serious is going to be going on there. We're going to fly over to the far northwest corner. Here's where the water tanks are, and they do they do have a direct line hooked up to the um, water utility line that runs up along Milan Road. And here is the new guard the new guard gate and entrance that they built, and they used it for several weeks, and then they shut it down. And this is what this is all about. I wanted to finish with a, a look at the end product. Thanks for joining and thanks for all your support and I'm going to be doing a two times a week cadence so come back soon.